Rajiv and I have been married for 21 years. It's been a fun experience being with him through all the highs and lows. You know, he's great at work, he's very passionate about whatever he does. But when he's at home, we're just like any other normal family. We have our good times, we have our fights, we have our arguments, and we have fun times with uh, each other, with the children. So, um, well, all in all, it's, it's been a great experience. Nidhi and I met in interesting circumstances. We were, it was, it was during the time I was in Calcutta. And one of the times when I came back to Delhi for a, for a brief holiday. And uh, that's when friends of our families introduced us. And uh, it was a quiet evening. We met and we, we barely spoke to each other, but we kind of noticed each other. And then from there, one thing led to another. We got to know, know each other. And um, we, we decided that we'd like to get married. What about your children? Tell me a little bit about your two daughters. We have two lovely daughters. I guess uh, my personal passion. Both of them are absolutely delightful. Uh, my elder daughter has just gone to college, so we miss her. The house isn't the same without her. And uh, she's gone to college in the U.S. And um, my younger daughter is uh, she's just completing a grade nine, so she's she's going to leave us in three years. The best part is that the two of us uh, at least have her night right now. And uh, you're very close to them, obviously. Oh yes, daddy's girls. Yes, I guess daddy's girls, but uh, I'd like to believe that. Yeah. But they know exactly how to get the best of both sides. You know, they know when to go to mama and they know when to get to go to daddy. But uh, yes, uh, I think uh, we're blessed with two delightful children. Oh um, well, me and my dad, we kind of do a lot of crazy things. Like he's, we always go out on the weekends. One thing that I really love is our evening walks on the weekends. We always go on walks and. We talk about everything, like I, he's really approachable. He's one person that I would go to if I had any problem with anything. He's honest, he's a true leader, like, and that's why I really look up to him, he's my idol. And he um, tells me about past stories in his life. We laugh, we talk, and like, and along with that, I also learn a lot from him, even without him knowing it. Like through his actions, we, he teaches us a lot. In your definition, what does success really mean to you? It, 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 really, it really implies uh, the kind of impact, the kind of uh, influence I can create, the kind of results I could generate out of the people I work with. But more importantly, if I, would, if I were to just place it very simply, it's all about empowering people, enabling success, and enriching lives. For such a busy schedule of traveling, how do you really unwind and just let your hair down? What do you do? I, I, like, I like to travel. Uh, but I don't mean work travel. I like to travel otherwise on a holiday and you know do things. Read. I am a voracious reader, and I and I love to be at parties. If I have to classify it, you know, it's a lot about physical activity. It's a lot about um, friends. Family time means a lot. But it's about deep, solid relationships. People you can trust. Trust, confidence, give trust, get trust. And uh, I would be. I, I really go a lot with that. So it's a combination of things. What we do in Raju is something called a rapid fire round. I'll just give you a question A or B, and you just have to answer that. Ready for the fun? Well, I guess I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ashwarya or Katrina? Katrina. Indian or Chinese? Indian, for, most certainly. Shahrukh or Amir? Amir. Sea or mountain? Sea. Thriller or comedy? Comedy. Dubai or Mumbai? Dubai. <laughs> Politically correct. <laughs> Ferrari or Lamborghini? Lamborghini. Muni or Sheila? Sheila. Wow, that was fun. You were very spontaneous. Thank you very much. Raji, it was great to spend the whole day with you. And it was, I wanted to have you at our show. Thank you very much. I wish you all luck and success. I look forward to seeing you very soon again. Thank you, Anish. It was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks. So now we know that money men are humble, honest, visionaries, brave, opportunists, but most importantly, human. Success is measured by the impact that you make and the people that you empower. That's what I learned by spending the whole day with Rajiv. I'm sure you get inspired every week by a new Top Gun. I look forward to seeing you next week with another successful personality. I'm your host, Anish Shaktiani. Until next time, bye-bye. Service really meant a lot for us because, uh, you know, I did say that we wanted to be successful because we wanted to create a difference. This was a very established market, 52 banks, uh, five million people, so it so sounded very overbanked. The only way we could go ahead and create a difference was in our belief that while the market was overbanked, the people were underserved. <laughs>
So for us, it was about serving the underserved, not serving the underbanked.